Hello, everyone. Hi, hold on. How are you doing? No, oh, well, you. You can hear me well. Where have you been, Alvin? Where have you been? Uh, yes, I hadn't seen you in like, I don't know, three days, well, maybe. Yes, yeah, yesterday I was in a traffic, a, a big traffic in. In Lourdes. <laughs> ah, yeah, that happens sometimes. And you drive? Yep. And um, I don't know, when I was here almost uh, what? 8.50. So I think it's not necessary to be in the class but for the last 50. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we finished like three minutes before, so. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have been there for long anyway. Let's bring back. Hi, Jill. Hi. Hi, what's new? What's going? Nothing new. Same different day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice shirt. No, nice jersey. Uh, yeah. Buy a new Bayern. And you, yeah. what are you yeah. wearing? You're wearing a sports jacket too. No, it's a normal jacket of Adidas. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a sports one anyway, but <laughs> but yeah. whatever. All right. Well, let's begin. Let me see. Where is everybody? Where is looking in late? We're about to finish, guys. Guys, how many more classes do we have? Three, right? One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes. Let's check the platform. I think we're almost done. Hi, hi, ma'am. Welcome. Okay, this is what was pending. We were supposed to write this with the object at the relative clause as the object or the relative clause as the subject, which is what we saw last night at the end, right? So, Gio, since you were in class, you're going to help us first with this one. Okay, welcome, Carla, Alexander. Hi, Jesenia. Hi. Good, good. The majority we have is here. The video. Sorry? You have to uh, watch the video? Hi. No. No, no, you have to use a relative clause. In that case, you're going to use that, who, which. Uh, so you connect the idea, right? For example, mm -hmm. something I really miss is my family. Or my family is something. Can you see my screen? Something that I really miss. I really miss. Or my mom is somebody who. So here at the beginning, you're using um, that. Mm -hmm. You can omit it. Or you can use who. So that's what we have to do in the exercise to finish it. Hi, maybe be careful. Okay. <laughs> Are you driving? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. All right, but you can listen. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's you so cool. <laughs> he looks cool, though. Okay, so number one, Gio, go ahead. <laughs> I think I would decide to buy. Um, see. One thing I would be excited to buy. Right. No, don't look at the answers. Uh huh. Trying to look at who? Yes, is trying the local food. The local food. Very good. All right, number two, Jasenia. Yeah. Hi. I would. I would most. I will must be the curious thing. about. I think you need to start thing? with the thing. Yes, the thing. Uh, the thing 
I... The first is the thing. Yes. You want to help her, guys? The one, thing. One thing I would. Yeah. I would. Yeah. Uh -huh, I would. Yes, yes, yes. I would. I would. The thing. <laughs> I would. Yes. The most. The The most what? The most curious about. Curious about exactly. So that's the way it should be. The thing I would be the most curious about is meeting people my age. Okay. He's many at number three. Can you help us out? I'm not, I don't understand. We're gonna start. You have to put this in order. Yeah. Anybody can help her, okay? Carla, maybe you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start by saying. Yes, something I will be anxious about is. Yes, very good. Something I will be anxious about is not understanding the language. Yeah. Absolutely. So, guys, write down the answers because we have to finish this by Friday, right? So, this is 5.5. The first one is the answer is. Is trying to look out food. The first second one is the thing I would be the most curious about. And number three, something I would be anxious about. I would be. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna mute you. Yeah. There. <laughs> Jill, your ears were suffering. <laughs> no, no. How is that? Okay, let me see. Be, it should I be right. Not. It's perfect, you see? I would be anxious about. Anxious about. All right. Here are the answers, guys. Maybe I'm going to take a picture because a lot of people are going to be asking. If you were not in uh, last night's class, it's difficult. Let me send it to the group. You have any questions about this? Um, I think we're clear, but maybe we have to we have a little more practice. You think? <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. writing. You should practice more writing because last night we practiced yeah. speaking and, and I think it's not clear still and a lot of people were not in class either. So um, we're going to practice with, you're going to have to write down the complement. Okay, because the most difficult part is the, the beginning, I think. So again, if if you lived, it will be the same scenario, okay? If you lived in Japan, now I'm gonna close it to just Japan, all right? I'm gonna say one thing I would be happy about is, and you have to complete the statement, okay? If you lived in Japan, something you would miss is and complete it all right if someone i would call every day is and then you complete it this is a, the situation for all of the uh statements that you have to complete all right and let me see what else if the thing i would like the most is and what else um Something I would be afraid of is in, in the thing I would be excited about is, and then you complete it. That's it. So I think if we complete this, you can understand the structure, but um, I will give you my answer, for example. I would be happy about is um if I lived in Japan, 
I'll be happy. I don't. I don't think I'll be happy about anything. Let me see. <laughs> about, what about the sushi? Y- the yes, sake. I was about to say the food. So one thing I will be happy about is to read manga. Trying. You have to use ing, by the way. Is trying real sushi. Yes, I will be happy about that. <laughs> so this is how you have to complete it personally and discuss it in the group but i would like one person to write them so that we can see the structure okay are we ready yes okay let's do it then let me see okay accept the invitation please somebody write it please 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 let me send this to you of the next sentence if you live in japan one thing i will be happy about it about is in my case reading uh, manga comics mm-hmm. you know what is manga manga is a of course Comic. yeah yeah they I were know. just on mute they know <laughs> in my case I... uh, one thing i will be happy about is buying swords swords <laughs> um, japanese swords really you, Tatana are. Swords. Oh. you will miss this uh, one something that I miss is the typical food from El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Garro. <laughs> Garro. <laughs> Beans, rice, and pupusas, of course. Of course, of pupusas. Yeah. And the chilate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like chilate. Chuco. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Sometimes you will miss is, for Sometimes. example. Sometimes you will miss something. Veronica. Uh, uh, something you will miss is um, the nearest places in El Salvador. <laughs> Because yes. you, you uh, visit uh, a lot of places in a short time. Yes, the beach. Be happy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I one yes. thing I be happy about. Uh, if I live in Japan, is uh, meet uh, Japanese. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe and and eat the the Japan food. Oh. <laughs> you like Japanese men, is many? Uh, no, but the Korean the <laughs> Chinese, yes. <laughs> I see some Korean. But it's the same. It's the same. <laughs> the same uh, characteristic. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay. Uh, yes, I know. I I don't know. I think they are similar. Like uh, the, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe is her high his face. For me, I think I would be happy about is um, maybe um, tasting the the gastronomy. Yeah. 
that would be and the what? Ah. filter and to know about the filter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, in the case if I live in Japan, one thing I will be happy about it is uh, try after, a after the verb, be, let's use ing if it's a verb, okay? So it's trying, it's meeting, right. it's going, mm -hmm. and so on. Or trying, mm -hmm. trying. Okay. Ah. Yep. For example, something, no, someone would you call every day, for example? What? Tell what? us someone mm -hmm. that you will call every day. Ah, okay. If you live in Japan. If you live in, in Japan. In Japan. If if I live in Japan. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't I don't know about Japan people that they, they live in Japan. Let me see, let me see. Um, the Japanese people eat a uh, uh, mouse, maybe. <laughs> no, they don't only eat that. They eat, <laughs> they eat vegetables and, and, and steak, chicken, okay. right, guys? I don't know. <laughs> right? Fish. Uh, a lot of fish. fish, yes, a lot of and fish. salmon, a lot of oh, salmon. Si. Different uh, trato, uh, tra treatment, uh, the, the treatment uh, for the woman, because the the woman are uh, less the men. Uh, are no, maybe not. Yes, maybe they consider them lower than men. You think? Uh, yes, they consider lower the men because the men is only the woman uh, is for home and, and, and like house chores. Yes, raising and children. Yes. Yeah. Mm, well, that's terrible. Nice, no, not nice, Alvin. <laughs> Oh, no. I know, I understand. No, I try to find a, a, a word for uh, to be sumisa, but I, I don't know. Ah, uh, you say um, submissive. 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 Yeah, okay. I was thinking. Okay, let's go back. Hey. Hey, Carlos. Welcome. Hey. We came back for you. Nah. <laughs> but we're here. Welcome. Wow. Okay, guys. How many uh, how many sentences did you make? Um four teacher. Four sentences. Okay, that's good. And how is the structure? Is it clear now? Better? Uh more or less. More or less. All right. For example, I had I I had difficult in the four in the four sentence. The things I would like the most is I can use after is um, a bear using ing. Yes, this is what you have with all of them because you have the verb be. You have to use a noun or a gerund. For example, let me give you an example with a noun, Beatriz. The thing I would like the most is um, the people, for example. That's a noun, okay. For all of the answers, you're supposed to use a journey. So is the people. Or the thing I would like the most is um, visiting temples, for instance. So here you see uh -huh, or the museums, okay. I, I don't know, guys. Let me see. <laughs> Muse I don't know about Japan. The museums. <laughs> so noun or a journey, but this is how you complete it. And all of them. Okay. Something you would really, someone 
One thing I will be happy about is, um, is yeah, we need a verb here. Not you know, only but the secret about the beautiful skin of the <laughs> of the women of Japan. I love that. Discovering the secret to a flawless skin. Flawless is without any imperfections, okay? With of a flawless skin. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> you're using ing here in all of them, except here because the the only answer is a person, right? So someone I would call every day is my mother, or you can say my friends. Okay, so that's how it works. And then in the other video, we saw the opposite. You, you're you supposed to invert it. So we have, look at this, that this, and everyone. We have the thing I would like the most is visiting the museums. Or I can say visiting the museums is the thing I would like the most. Mm -hmm. That's the thing I would like the most, exactly. Yep, okay. it's the same. We just invert it. All right. Okay. That's about it. Um, but yeah. Let me see. We're going to go to section 5.6. This is where we're supposed to be. Can you read the objective, please, Carlos? Okay. In this class, you will learn how to use clauses with when um, if for expectation. Uh huh. Clauses with when. All of the clauses with when to talk about expectations. All right. Not only when, guys, but if you know it's a substitute of when, right? So you can use when or if, and it basically means the same. All right, please write down the examples, write down the structure, pay close attention so we can practice afterward. Maybe I'll play here. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the U.S., when you go out on a first date, you are supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to, either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to. Um, and so. Let's look at the examples at this time. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Of course, this depends on the situation. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And again, this varies among different cultures. Um, if you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask. You're supposed to check with the host. It's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. So let's try to understand this particular idea here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write the structure, and I'm also going to um, borrow one of these examples that you see there. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. One second here. All right. Um, I think I, I should have. All right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out uh, the following that um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use an, a when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone. That's what I refer to when I say 
a when or an if clause. That's what should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the t the expectation is when you visit someone and then you, then it's going to follow the verb to be. The verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form, it could be negative. In this case, it happens to be that it's on its negative form. So when you visit someone you aren't, uh, then this is going to follow supposed to. You aren't supposed to, and then it's going to follow the verb. So in this case, the verb is arrive. Okay. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And then finally, it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. So in this case, I'll use an if clause. So I'm going to say, if the service in a restaurant is good, okay, that's the if clause, okay. Then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject, okay. You're um, supposed to, okay. And then that's going to follow the verb, so you're supposed to leave a tip, and then there's going to be some sort of complement. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in green, just so you can see that this is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the it's the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out. Right um, after that, follows the it follows the the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it could it could be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that um, I'm using a contraction, right? So that's that's the subject and the contraction of that verb. Um, and then we use supposed to, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and color that in appropriate color, the one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the verb, right? And then whatever complement that uh, you wanted to uh, choose. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures, and in some cultures, it's not the custom to leave a t uh, to leave um, any tip whatsoever, right? Let me go ahead and uh, give another example here. Uh, what I'm going to say is, when you go out with friends to dinner, all right? Um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I'm going to say it's, uh, and instead of supposed to, I will say it's acceptable to split the bill. So there are other examples that you can see here. Um, we can use um, it's the custom, right? Um, you can use it's acceptable or, or it's not acceptable. I mentioned the, this can be positive or negative. Yeah, you're expected to, which is an, an example that I did not give, but um, um, it would follow that expression and then it follows the verb. But um, all, all of them um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this uh, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so, for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding um, before you get married and then you want to... Uh, okay, so this is all we need. Look, I just need... Maybe I can copy-paste this. Hold on. How do you think... The topic is, you think it's difficult? Not really, what do you think? There it is. Acceptable. Acceptable? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little bit. Uh, it's just a matter of practice. The thing, guys, is that you don't need to know the structure in this case, uh, but you need to know the expressions. That is what you have to memorize. Ow. Hold on, let me see if I can... That is acceptable. 
It is acceptable. Well, I'm going to send this to you because I cannot cut it. I cannot crop it. So this is what I need you to practice, okay? I need you to practice. It's the costume too. And then you need the verb in the base form, okay? I will send you this so that you use it. Forget about this part right now because I'm going to send you the situation, okay? I just need you to use it's the costume too and the verb in the base form, okay? You aren't supposed to and the verb in the base form. Hold on. This is better. You're supposed to, verb in the base form. You're expected to, verb in the base form. It's not acceptable to, verb in the base form, okay? That's all you have to do. So it's not complicated. You have to memorize the expressions. That's it, okay? Um, so what are the scenarios I need you to use? One of them is in El Salvador, okay? That's gonna be our context, in El Salvador. If you are invited to a birthday party, or you can say when, because I'm saying it's basically the same, right? If or when you are invited to a birthday party, what are you supposed to do? What are you expected to do? Invited to a birthday party. That's one. Okay. Bring if, a gift. Hold on. If you are going to be late, for a class, for a meeting, for a party, okay? What are you expected to do? What are you not supposed to do? So on. Another one is if you, if you are going to get married in El Salvador, what are the things you have to do beforehand, okay? <clears throat> and if you cannot attend an event, for example, for example, you have a class, right? Or you have a, a social gathering, but you cannot attend. What are you supposed to do? Okay. So I'm going to send you this. This is the, the beginning of it. If you are going to be late, look, I'm going to put it side by side. So if, okay, first one, guys, help me out just to give you some insight. Let me see, 11. And this and this again okay that should work all right look when you are invited to a birthday party it is the costume to give me a verb bring bring <laughs> bring what <laughs> uh, gift. bring a gift bring uh -huh. very good we can continue with the same one if you want to when you are invited to a party, it's not acceptable to, I need a verb. To bring right. a, a couple. Uh, to bring a, another to guest. Another guest, yeah. Yes, that's right, it's not acceptable. People do it anyway, right? They're like, hey, <laughs> your family, you wanna go? Okay, let's go, <laughs> get in the car. Okay, guys, if you're going to be late to an event or something, you're supposed to what? To call. To what late? Right. Call. To call. call. To um, apologize. No you are expected to apologize, apologize. right? Yeah. To, okay. to leave the, the to leave the, the gift. Uh -huh. To leave. To send the gift. Oh really? Really? I didn't know that. Huh. Okay. What a social life did I have? <laughs> I didn't know you were supposed to send a gift. Wow. When, when you have money, that is so normal. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Why did you try to call me then? <laughs> hey, I didn't know that. No, seriously. I need to learn social norms, I guess. Let me see what else. I need another scenario because we only have four. I want to pick one more. <laughs> so if you're poor like me, then <laughs> you don't send gifts. Okay. Let me see when you when you are a good teacher, <laughs> <laughs> you're expected to accept comments. Okay, <laughs> I'll accept, uh, you you are expect get a ten in the final exam. Uh -huh, yeah, when you're a student like Alvin. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna say when you have exams or homework. Okay, that's going to be our last scenario. It's easy, right? 
situation, question, and the verb. Suppose. All right. Yes, so I'm going to study for that. You're supposed to study. Just a study five minutes until the exam. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes before the exam. Hey, who time? Study? <laughs> that is five minutes before the exam, honestly. Who does that? Let me see. <laughs> me, teacher. <laughs> Carla, who else? Yesenia, you? You have to write down the formulas on the desk. Uh, five minutes before class. I mean, before the exam. Yeah, I, I was what I was one of those students study one hour before, five minutes before. Yeah, it works. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna send you this. Take a screenshot, guys, if you want to, so that you have it in better quality. Because these pictures are off. You have questions about the activity? Oh. No. Well, I'm supposed oh, to do it. wait, wait. We're going to add one. When you go out on a date, I like that one. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. If you're a man and That's if you're a woman, secret. I like that. But the <laughs> perspectives of it. Okay, bye bye exams and homework. <laughs> I like that one better. All right, let me take another picture. Uh, um, all right, I'll send it to you in a second, guys. Accept the invitation, please. We don't have much time. All it's right. not acceptable to write late. Uh -huh. All right, I want to hear the answers. It's not acceptable <laughs> to go in a bus. <laughs> in a bus. That is so classist. Come on. <laughs> Alvin, okay, that's you. All right, accept the invitation. Oh, I didn't send you the invitations. Okay, that's why. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did I do? Yeah, I sent the invitation, guys. All right, go ahead. I can see my invitation. Really? I'll join on the side. One, two, two, one. Okay, there it is. I'm sending them. Three. Oh, now, yes. Three. group Carlos and Laura did you get the invitations Laura you got the invitation Hello. Hi, you didn't get it either. Hold on, let me send it again. No, nothing. Okay, Laura. Now you. Uh you didn't get it. I'm alone. Yes, I'm sending you the invitation. I don't know why you cannot get it. Hold on. I'll send it to you one more time, okay? Check. Invited to a birthday party. What is the custom mm. here in El Salvador? Uh, you're acceptable to. It is acceptable to give a gift. It's acceptable to give a gift. 
Uh -huh. It is acceptable to. Yeah, the the expression you have to say the way it is in the in the image. Not acceptable to invite other persons. <laughs> mm -hmm. All the family. All the family, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and what about the second one? If we are going to be late? Um, I'm trying to apologize with that person. <laughs> Uh -huh. But try to use custom. It's the custom to 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 the, to give an explanation about the reason. Okay, number three, Charlie, tell us if you're going to get married, uh, you suppose what? To do a party before the, <laughs> the wedding. <laughs> you're supposed to tell to the parents. The, her parents. <laughs> yes, to tell her parents. <laughs> I'm going to get married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I know. Yeah. It was good. We're in the second one. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, what do you think? Uh, can we discuss the last one? Because I'm curious. I want to hear you. If you cannot attend a, an event, no. When Many you go out on a, when you go out on a date, when you uh, have excellent work. when you go out on a date, you're supposed to. It's not work. acceptable to. I. It's supposed to. It's Maybe supposed have to have excellent. a birthday. <laughs> I don't know. Take the image I sent, Gio. So the last one uh, says, when you go out on a date, and here you have the expression. Don't modify the expressions, okay? It's, uh, you are supposed to, it says. You aren't supposed to. It's not acceptable to. All right, tell me. I want to hear. Wisdom. First. You yes. have some money. Ah, yes. That's the first yes. one. Ah. The first one. What's oh, the expression? Have mm -hmm. money, a lot of money. You're expected. <laughs> yeah. Okay. As a man or in general? Mm -hmm. ah, in general. <laughs> you have equality in, in, this, wow. um, in, days. In, in these days. In these days. In these days. In these times. Equality. Yeah. These days. These times require it. Okay, yeah. Marvin, what do you think? Yes, and I think. Um, but use one of the expressions. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. Let me see. Expected let me to see. Expect yes. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. I, I expected to. Uh, to be a, a more fluent example. Excuse me? <laughs> I didn't get that. <clears throat> really? Uh, you can hear me? Well, Say it again. Okay. So when you uh, I think a, 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 well, I expected, sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are uh, expected. I, go out, I, I expected to, yes, to uh, have a good conversation. Uh, okay. Or uh, yeah, with a good interesting subject, right? Uh huh. Okay, don't modify the expression though. Okay, the first expression here, look, the ones that I sent is it's the costume to, you aren't supposed to, you're expected to. And we have to, to, to say one with every one of these. Not the ones you want. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. For example, when you go out on a date, it's not acceptable. Uh, to, to not I had to expect yeah. the other person to pay for you, I think it's not acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not acceptable. Or maybe yes. uh, it's supposed to be a a, a kind. It's not person. No, you are supposed to. Don't change the expression, right? It, you are supposed to. 
you are supposed to what did you say to be respectful you are supposed to be a kind person ah yes yes exactly yeah. Yeah. okay yeah very good i'll be back mm -hmm. Sure. If you are talking about a capacitation a training? for a training for a, any topic, a, you can change. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I suppose call uh, the person. The... Let's use one of the expressions. So we have. It's the costume to, you are supposed to, you aren't supposed to. Okay. okay. It's not acceptable uh, to. Uh, so if you're going to be late. You are, oh, okay. You are supposed to call. You are right? supposed to call uh, the person. Very good. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. If, it is, if I cannot attend an event, a event, event. Mm -hmm. And I suppose to is correct. No. I suppose to. You are supposed to. What? You are supposed to. I, I suppose to. Because the thing is that this is not personal, okay? It's a general thing, all right? So when you. When you cannot go to an event, when you cannot attend an event, you are supposed to or you are expected. So it's a general thing, okay. not personal. Okay. okay. I expect, I expect to give me a... Uh, I expect him to give me a, a, <laughs> a the reason for the don't attend. Uh -huh. So you are expected to uh, to give a reason, to give an explanation, right? Yeah. For don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, for explanation. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. What else? When you go out on a day, such for for inform about the situation that you have in that in that moment. Probably you don't you don't attend that day because you don't have enough time to translate to the place that you agree with that person. Yeah. We finished, teacher. We are going to repeat all the okay. questions. <laughs> the no, same. I'm gonna go back right now. Question. Okay. Yeah, we're almost done. Hold on. Wait, my cat. Wait. There it is. Let's go back. Welcome back. Okay, well. I didn't hear you guys using the expression, so we have to do that right now, okay? <clears throat> um, this is a general thing. It's not a personal thing, because I heard some of you saying, if if you're going to be late, I expect this. But no, it's like a rule for the country, okay? So we're saying, when you do this, you're supposed to do this, okay? When you're late, you're supposed to call in El Salvador. It's not personal. It's a general thing in the country, okay? So we have to use the the phrase the way it is in the book all right so uh, let's do the first expression what is the first expression in the image i sent you guys it's, it's, the, costume. it's, the, costume. it's the costume too okay let's use that one and we cannot modify it okay because we're talking about el salvador not personal things so when you are invited to a birthday party it's 
the costume to what? Bring a gift. To bring a gift. To bring a gift. Very good. Okay, what is the second expression? If you're going to be late, you aren't supposed to. You aren't supposed to. Okay, you aren't supposed to. General thing in the country. If you're going to be late, you aren't supposed to what? Oh. Uh, this is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be late. You aren't supposed to. Aren't supposed to. You aren't supposed are to. Supposed. Okay, yeah. let's use another expression. We're going to use. You are supposed. You are supposed. Yeah, maybe you are supposed to is better. Yeah. To? You are supposed. Call? Call. 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 Very Call. good. Next expression. What is it? <clears throat> if you're going to get married, mm -hmm. you're expected to. You're expected to That's in, in the country, to. not in. Not in Saudi Arabia, okay? In El Salvador. You're expected to... Because <laughs> <Yeah, to be happy. laughs> that is so radical. Wow. Don't you're quit. Get married, you're expected to... Don't to quit at the marriage. Ah, you're... Ex oh, okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That's different. That is different. I understand. I like it because I want to use you aren't supposed to. I want We haven't Expect used it. it. To be single. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Not like the seventh wife, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you are expected to be single. Yes, that's good. Your first wife. Or or the opposite. If you are married, you aren't supposed to, to get divorced in six months. <laughs> 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 so you aren't supposed to do that. All right, one more. Two more. You you aren't supposed to get another <laughs> girlfriend, another wife or girlfriend, right? <laughs> okay, next. Uh, it's not acceptable to. We okay. haven't used that one. If you cannot attend an event, it's not acceptable to what? To cancel five minutes before. To cancel five minutes <laughs> before. <laughs> you know what? To cancel last minute. Last That's the minute. expression. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When you cancel go last out... minute or in last minute. No, last minute. That's it. Cancel okay. last minute. It, it's not acceptable to. We already used all the expressions, so this is free. What expression do you want to use? When you go out, date. No classes, comments, Alvin. <laughs> That's not okay. When you go out on a date, if you are men, you're uh -huh. supposed to uh, to, be early. To, to, be early. to get to your, your bill with a lot of be money. On time. Your wallet with money. <laughs> <laughs> you have <Hey>. money. <laughs> okay. Look. And, and if it's is it is not acceptable <laughs> to, to say I forgot right my now. wallet. <laughs> All right, continue. Go ahead. So listen, guys, it's not acceptable not to bring money. So, yeah. <laughs> not acceptable. To ask it's only it's piece. only a day, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting married yet. That was the previous example. It's, it's not acceptable <laughs> to ask for a kiss in the first date. Oh, okay. It's not acceptable to ask for or to try to kiss someone. Okay. Yeah, to try to kiss. All right. First so look, a lot of examples came up with this one. You got inspired, guys. <laughs> So this is the way you're supposed to make them. If you can, please do it as homework so you can practice the structure. This is the last time you will see this, all right? So it's important for you to practice it. Maybe tomorrow we can do some more examples. I will think I will think of other scenarios. You think of other scenarios too and help me tomorrow so we can practice a little more and uh, you, get, you, you start memorizing the expressions, okay? But yes, this is how you use it. And by the way, yeah, this... These are only examples, guys. So, no, we're not going to be sexist here. So, if you are a man or a woman, maybe that's what I should have done. Okay, look. <laughs> if you're a man or a woman, okay? Now it's fair and equal. All right? <laughs> Applicable for both. 
That's the way it should be. I swear someone to say someone says, I don't know if I hear well, but uh -huh. I hear the Pradera. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess it was something about Haiti, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that was a different topic. <laughs> Alvin. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Hey, bye. Hope you have a beautiful night. Bye. bye. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.